Hey YouTube, welcome back everyone. So, that last video where we had our giveaway, that's all because of you guys, and you guys are great. Um, yeah, I can't thank you guys enough. Um, well, we're back on our project. Number seven here. Well, we've got it together. We've got our base made, and we got it mounted. Yeah. bring this over where you guys can see it and you guys are going to be way way too close I'll pull you back out there get this wire out of the way and what do you think you got all mounted on some atrocious woodworking skills um Underneath at the bottom of it for the electrics. I have two of these little six volt batteries and They're wired in series So we have 12 volts for our ignition here But we're running one of these little batteries here just for our starter because I hooked it up to a three cell lipo and It was like a small nuclear reactor inside that starter motor and then I hooked it up to a two cell and it was, well, not quite as spicy, but still way too much for what this little, I think they're a four volt motor can handle. So we're running six volts to the starter, but 12 volts to our ignition coil. I can show you the belly of it if you want to see it. I do have the battery tender hooked up, but this is our bottom side. Uh, we're gonna try to start it tonight. That's why the battery tenders on it I don't know how long we're gonna have to crank on this and I knew well, it was two or three of you guys that couldn't wait to see this thing run and I'm also one of those guys. So all right, well We'll get our dipstick out of here. We're gonna put 25 milliliters of 30 weight oil into our crankcase So I'll get that in bring you guys you know after you don't need to see me put oil in so let me get that oil in there all right guys well we've got our crankcase full I'll bring you in closer our oil level is about right there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna crank this over you guys can hear it and the it almost sounds like a, a gear reduction Chrysler starter but little bit more sick so all right we're gonna watch for this to pull oil up here and disperse it down through the bottom so let's crank this over oh, yeah. oil going through. fantastic our oil pump is operational we know that we have pressurized lubrication so well let's put some fuel in here and we are going to, we're probably just going to run the same 94 octane 40 to 1 VP fuel. But, uh, well, the same stuff we always use. So just until we get it broke in, we're going to see if it'll start. If it'll start, we'll let it sit here and idle just for a little bit. And then we'll introduce some water to our cylinders or our uh, cooling, cooling system. So let me get some fuel put in here all right well can you guys see our fuel level in here we know that we've pre-lubed our system we have our 25 milliliters of motor oil in there and uh, well, our throttle throttle is free motion let me uh, we're gonna leave our ignition switch off bump our throttle open a little bit and I'm going to crank it until we see fuel come up. Well, we have fuel up to our carburetor. So the system should be primed. We know we have it in our crankcase. We know, uh, yeah. Well, here's the moment of truth, guys. Did we do it right? Or did, uh, well, maybe not. Ignition on, keep our hand on our throttle. Okay. 
Oh God, we're just dumping fuel down in here. I think I flooded the piss out of it. So let me, uh, yeah, pinch this down. Give me a second. We're going to take our fuel line off so we can't continue to draw more fuel. Ignition on, throw on a wide open to clear it, and uh, we'll crank it and see if we can get it to pop. Or and it's possible we flooded the tar out of our plugs already. So. Starter's a little warm, not too bad. We got one tight cylinder, that's for sure. I wonder what's going on here. It was trying to fire. All right. Well, let me give this little starter a little bit of time to cool off. I mean, it's not smoking hot, but I can feel it being warm, so... No sense in changing it out before we even hear it run, if it will. So let me uh, give this about five minutes to cool off. Maybe clear out a little bit. We'll leave this open. And uh, then I'll show you guys what we got after that. All right. Well, we've given our starter some time to cool off. And uh, I did pull the plugs. Clear the engine of fuel. Uh, we put you know, the factory Sison carb back on. And uh, well, this was the one that was on there. And uh, the reason it was on there is because, well, this fuel line is much larger than the one that comes with it. And I didn't use the tank that they provided. So I couldn't stretch, you know, that little bitty fuel line over the top of this tank. But if you guys can see here, it does fit on the inside. So, all right. Well, let's flip our ignition back on. We've got no fuel in this carburetor. I haven't tried to crank it yet. So let's uh, let's try again. Sounds promising. Sounds like we flooded it yet again. Let's pinch our mixture way down. I've got this screw open one and a half in our idle one and a half. So that's one. That's a half a turn on our wide open mixture. That's a half a turn on our idle mixture. So let's pull our fuel line off so we can't continue to flood it. We'll set it up here on the tank vent. And, uh, well, let's hope that we don't flood it out again. Ignition on. getting warm let's go again yeah. yeah I'm afraid we're gonna have to let it set again guys so hang on okay guys well we've cleared this of excess fuel once again 
we're gonna hook our fuel line back up turn our ignition on and uh, well let's give it a go it fired I'm afraid this thing's gonna flood itself out So now we've got our main jet open about an eighth of a turn. So with that said, let's let's give it a go. It sure is trying. It wants to run. Let's pinch it all the way down and give it just a touch. We've got our main jet closed completely. We're at an idle. Let's see what happens. Getting a little bit warm. Not sure guys. I mean, we got a liquid cooled engine. I think we need a liquid cooled starter. <laughs> That's pretty fantastic. Well, with a self disconnecting fuel line, let's see what happens. Well, we're not done yet. We're going to keep working on this because, well, hell, I've got a lot of time in this. But we'll get it to run. And uh, I'm sorry that you guys didn't get to see it go right now. But we are trying this together. So let's figure out what's going on. And uh, you guys will see it you know, here in just a second. But... I'll record, you know, little short clips of what we've done to figure out what is going on. And, uh, absolutely, we'll have it running. All right, guys. Well, it's the next day. Uh, last night, I was out here until hell, almost 2 in the morning working on this thing to try to get it to start. And we had it firing. And I, I'd hit a wall. I couldn't figure out what was going on. Um, I don't know if you guys can see up here at the top. These are the original plug boots that comes with the startup kit. And I'd put these rubber ones on there because I thought they looked better. Well, that was part of the problem because every time the plug would fire, it would just run down the side of this rubber and ground out. So <clears throat> I changed those over and it was better. And I recorded it. I can't find it, but it would run on two sometimes three cylinders and then I dug into the spark plugs mind you these are brand new plugs that came with the kit and it's probably not gonna show up too well but the electrode on this one is sitting at a 45 degree angle that direction this plugs junk and this one here I cranked it over in the dark and you could see it arcing right here through the porcelain to the ground. It wasn't firing down here. So we had two junk spark plugs. Um, I guess, well, you guys want to see if it'll start?
I don't want to run it too long because the way I've got this radiator set up, uh, I can see it flowing through here, but it's not flowing right. I don't want to overheat this little guy yet, but we do want to, you know, thermal cycle this several times to get those rings seated in. So, sorry, I'm going to let it run for a little bit and shut it off. It'll cool back down. And we do that a few times. We're going to keep moving forward. Um, I am going to keep going on this. I'll get this done. I probably won't show it, you know, the process on how I do this. But once I get it done, I mean, this is going to be something that pops up from time to time. And, uh, well, we've got a box over here. We've got another project to at least open up and look at and see what it does. But... There you go, guys. Uh, hole number seven is alive, and it doesn't run terribly bad. I know it will run better after it gets, you know, broke in, but we want to break it in properly. Uh, no oil leaks anywhere. So, I mean, I, pretty neat little engine, and we didn't fry our starter, so that's a good thing. <laughs> It's alive guys we'll get her tuned in and running better thank you again so much for watching um liking and if you're not subscribed just you know i'll put it right there just click on it guys i appreciate it thank you so much we'll see you next time bye